I'm going to do a bunch of different comparison testings with the uh, new Tiant MMP11. But right now I'm uh, testing it against the new Nexus, which is LG Electronics brand of ionizer. And they came out with this new one called the Smart 2, or the Nexus 2 Smart Ionizer. So anyway, we're, I'm just going to compare these two, and they're, they really don't compare price-wise, so it's probably really not fair. Um, the MMP11 has 11 plates. It gets up to 750 watts of power. Um, the Smart uh, has 5, and it, it gets up to 150 watts of power. Um, but the design of the smart is such, it's very smart design and, and it very well may do as well as the MMP11. I'm not 100% sure. Um, another thing about the smart ionizer that I uh, personally like is the fact that it has continuous cleaning, which is a, just a great feature as far as I'm concerned. So I'm just going to, I've already done a full thorough comparison to, or um, just a demo intro, intro testing of the MMP11 and so I'm not going to do that all over again I'm just going to take level 3 and I've got them both set at their highest settings by the way and I'm just going to flow it at medium flow rate uh, I'm going to let you know that one of the biggest differences that I noticed in my testing of the MMP 11 was that, um, hold on a second, that's not it's medium flow, okay, there we go, that's better. Um, okay, so that's just a medium flow rate. I, I did notice in my testing of the MMP 11 that one of the things that really distinguishes it is the fact that at a fast flow rate it does ionize the water pretty good and honestly um, that is an excellent excellent feature I'm going to also um, pour some acidic water at the same time and that's level three as set at the highest setting All right, so I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to go ahead and start flowing some water from the Smart. I, uh, another thing I like about the Smart is that it it can uh, it has a flow control now. It's very nice. Uh, you you don't have to turn on or off buttons, all you have to do is start your water flow to it. So for that reason, the smart ionizer can be either countertop or can go under your counter. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice feature. And um, it is also programmable. You can, you know, program up to eight different levels for each one of the pH levels. So if pH 1, 2, 3, and 4, you can boost it. Um, the, the power booster will allow you to boost it eight, eight different levels of, of those four levels. <laughs> if you can understand what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the alkaline. And we, would keep, we have to keep everything in perspective here because we are looking at pH and ORP of both of these things and I might have to tweak this testing a little bit and speed up flow rate or slow down flow rate or whatever to try to get a similar pH and to see what the ORP is at that similar pH. So this is a 10.8 pH with a negative 780 ORP that is, that is truly fantastic. I'll say that's just wonderful. And um, I just, I just really love it. <laughs> so um, anyway, but the the smart uh, is uh, pretty close to the same thing, 10.8 with a negative 786. So so really, the smart and the 
and the MMP11 are not going to give you better drinking water. They're, they're both going to be very similar. The, um, you know, it, it, it just your difference is going to be the smart water ionizer just can't flow as fast as the um, MMP. All right, so let me take get rid of that ORP meter here and just look at the acidic water that came out of both because that's a crucial kind of element. And and the the tie is getting a better. Oh, well, I'll show you these. The smart ionizer just doesn't get quite as good acidic water either. This goes down to 2.8, which is really awesome. And then the uh, smart does not get as good acidic water for one reason or the other. So it's a, like a 4.5, which is excellent beauty water. And you can get lower than 4.5, basically, with the smart ionizer. I'm not saying it won't get lower than that. We, we didn't have it on level four though we put it on level three to for pouring drinking water so but um, I just wanted to point that out so if acidic water is something that you want at a faster flow rate and you know more consistently acidic the MMP 11 is also better for that I'm just going to use some drafts real quick as a final test and so that you can visually see similarities and differences. Okay, so really, pH-wise, you can see they're practically identical. And honestly, the acidic water 